mean, it's been so many good opening this season. Summer season is freaking lit, okay? Summer season is the is, spring season was pretty weak. I think everyone gives them that. It was a good anime, some weak anime. I think I think winter was strong. Winter has some really strong contesters for like best anime, like uh, you know, Promised Neverland, Kaguya Sama, and so on, right? Uh, but summer man, haven't even got to that Manshine Mamoku yet. So far, summer has had. Oh man, dumbbell, dumbbell on Wednesdays, right? Mm. I like Canastra too. So many isekais. And then we have, you know, Vinland Saga, Fire Force, and so on. Uh, and Dr. Stone, and it's been so many good openings, especially uh, dumbbell opening, amazing. But here now, it's gonna be a new opening now for Kellen Two Step Court. It's the music anime. So I spent a lot, and I might do, we might pause the video and go and do like a analysis video. I like, I love doing opening analysis, right? Uh, for new openings that I've seen like one season, so especially, and some touches for the first opening as well. I mean, a little lazy this season, that, but nah, that's, I don't know, I don't a few of them. Um, but I don't know. Carry on Tuesday, I think they're just gonna do like a music video opening. It probably won't be any like storytelling in the opening, it probably won't be any. You know, here's the enemy, here's the, <laughs> here's the combat. It probably won't be like a Black Clover opening where you can be like, Ah, enemy, enemy, ally! <laughs> it can be like that. It's probably gonna, gonna be like a music video. So, you're gonna watch the style, and it's gonna be a new arc, I guess. They just got, you know, they got contest right, they got on, they kind of got kind of drawing with Angela like, in a bit, right? I guess mom is might come after me. I don't know, maybe mom will. I think her brother might, her son, I mean, yeah, so I think uh, Tuesday's brother, right, might protect her. From uh, the evil mother, maybe. He is clearly best Onisha. As I said, episode 3, I was like, best Onisha. He is best Onisha. Anyway, let's start watching it. We're gonna see the opening first, then. Uh, and if it's an opening with actual, like, you know, foreshadowing and so on, uh, I will, we will re watch it and I will analyze it and so on. Love doing that, as I mentioned. But I don't think it's gonna be that. I think it's gonna be a music video opening. So, anyway, 3, 2, 1, and go. Here we go. Do 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 do. Beautiful anime. Yeah, summer is freaking hot. And I mean, like, oh yeah. Wednesday, two amazing anime, in my opinion. Dump and like, Tuesday. Uh, can I start? I like, I like a lot. I like Astro. I like a lot. Um, tomorrow is we. Thursday is the weakest day. Only one anime. Here we go. No, no, no. Right away. Okay. They're going together here and yeah, play music. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, but it's probably it's gonna be like a music video opening, right? Okay, a lot of walking. A lot of walking. You see those monitor rays in the background and so on, yeah. It's very fall, it's very fall in that way. <laughs> yeah, more fall colors. Okay, they play different instruments. Just the two of them together as last opening, yeah. In the Marsh Desert. <laughs> this is cool though, it's like posters a bit. Maybe, maybe they're getting famous here, like in uh, a Megalo Box. People are like, yeah, let's get tattoos and so on with, yeah, with. Well, this course pretty good. Oh, <laughs> Coachella. <laughs> it's Coachella now, they like. <laughs> yeah. No, we're becoming famous. Marsh Coachella. Yeah, here we go. No, this is some Instagram photos here. Yeah. Yeah. It's really what I expected. It's just like a music video. There's no foreshadowing here. There's no, you know, we can't see an antagonist in the opening. There's nothing to really analyze. It's just uh, an opening. Yeah. As always. I mean, I don't think it's bad. I'm just saying, like, you know, from my analyzation perspective, I won't bother with that opening because it's nothing really to analyze, right? It's nothing really to analyze in a kind of like, oh yeah, nothing really happened there, to be honest, right? Oh, it's a kind of TV show, maybe? Who's the guest? Probably. Ellen, Ellen, <laughs> it's Ellen, it's Ellen show, it's the Ellen show. Oh, I love it. It's the Ellen show. What is Ellen show? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the L. It's the. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly the Ellen show. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm not really good with this stuff. Yeah, here we go. That is super nervous. Yeah. Oh my God! You got all? That's too nice. <laughs> He's not very good being famous. <laughs> He's super cute though. It's gonna be increase the ratings, yeah. <laughs> uh. Hope he's gonna dance! Come on, Alan! He's gonna dance over the table! Um, this is the point that he's doing a dance right on Instagram. Oh, yeah, let's play the role. Yeah, and the first number as so. well. I hope he's gonna dance over his table and be like, Dance time! And then everyone's like, Woo! Dance! Come on, Alan, do it. The rival! He's like, your rivals on at you! Rival! <laughs> rivals? No, star <it's> friend! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, they get the rival. He has no uh, screaming audience, though. He's a pretty bad Ellen, yeah. He should have danced. He should have danced over the table. Then it would be much better. I'm disappointed he didn't dance over the table. I think it would be perfect, yeah. And there's a kind of, you know, laughing track in the background, right? It's a kind of applauding track, a laughing track in the background. Then it truly would have been Alan. <laughs> a new fan? Yeah. Yes. Whoa, one fan! <laughs> we have one fan! <laughs> one person likes us! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Angela. What, Rubicon guy? Okay, yeah, of course it's him. Of course it's even Isaru, yeah. Ah, oh, I got that. Oh yeah, Brad's record. She won the record deal, whatever I did, so... Standard. I don't think it's standard. Procedure, I guess, you know. Brightest Mars, Brightest Records. It makes sense. The old lady, of course, is like a money maker. She did the Simon Power, yeah, you know. Some, yeah, how we call it, yeah. It's how it is, right? I don't think this is too surprising, this is a bit standard, it's like I'm on earth right there. Pretty basic stuff, right? Ooh, Angela's, what's it called? Bree something? Right? Brett? Brett something. Or Bree it. The two words, we can't see the one word. Okay, Bree then I guess it's. Oh, okay, we're gonna see it now, maybe a first, a new single from Angela. This song, it might be this better than all the songs, yeah, this is the last um, season so to speak. I like it more than the other ones. It's the beginning, yeah. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. This could be, this is for me, in my opinion, this is her best song so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the best graphics too, like behind her, yeah, it's kind of cool effects too. Definitely. In my opinion, in my humble, correct opinion. No, but I think this is the best so far. Yeah. 
And then everyone's like, yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the fourth like, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, like they were like, yeah, yeah, you know, let's buy this CD. Yeah. Oh, 2.1 fo million. Following zero. <laughs> what a selfish woman. She's following zero people. She's just uh, <laughs> not following a single person. <laughs> that was a good detail. Yeah, she's just. This has follow a single person back, yeah, I like that. Or, you know, follow someone else at the artist, I like that. That Anila, yeah, that was good. Oh, is it back to the classic, <laughs> classic scale, you say? Yeah, they are, they, this plays a lot. See? They're even experts. <gasps> Carol? Clearly, he recognized her. I used to pay with your phone, yeah. Very, yeah, very, very Japan, yeah. Here we go. Tuesday's weird new fans. This is adorable to it. So it's gonna be random tags anyway. I'm thinking he might be her father. I don't know. I was like, is this Carol's father? I don't know why. I was like, he's like, oh, this woman. And he might be her dad. I don't know. Yeah, protecting his girl. So kind of all wet. She's like a refugee. Yeah, and he's like a warrior. He's a kind of veteran, right? I don't know. There's a score here. Damn. I'm thinking it's her daddy. I think, yeah, I'm just throwing it out there. Because she's so kind of like, you know, so kind of war, you know, refugees from Earth, right? And he's clearly like a veteran from some kind of war on Earth, probably, yeah. He, to me, comes off as her, you know, long lost father. I don't know, I'm just throwing it out there. He recognizes her. Because he was more like, whoa, it's her, more shock, more than like, oh my god, this famous girl is my, whoa, is that my daughter? Or, you know, like, maybe my niece, yeah. I'm just saying, I, I, I'm just throwing it out there. If they, I felt like there was like a fatherly thing, also protecting them from time strike, yeah, and like saving them from, <laughs> I like this rivalry, <laughs> this is the best rivalry, yeah, this is the best rivalry, dad and mama rivalry, yeah. Manage coach manager rivalry, idiot rivalry, whatever you call it, yeah. And he was like, Yep, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, and those three had their own little, like, oh, extra rivalry inside, too. It's like, Yeah, nice, nice. It's double rivalry now, yeah. It's uh, idiot rivalry and uh, artist rivalry, yeah. Yeah, don't make it boring for me, girls. Don't make it too easy for me, yeah. You tell them, girl. Rival! She's rival! <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Maybe she's a rival after all. She kinda is a rival, yeah. That's pretty cool. We have a rival. <laughs> I didn't think about it before, but she is clearly. Oh, walk this way. Oh. Walk this way. Oh, I love this song, yeah. Walk this way. Of course, Randy is in Aerosmith. Yeah. When was that song out? 86, 85? Walk this way. I, I would say mid, mid 80s? Is what is for mid 80s? Whatever, yeah, but obviously Run DMC and uh, Aerosmith, yeah. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite 80s songs. And one of the absolutely best music videos from the 80s, yeah. When you break open the wall up, the hip hop and the, the rock, it, it, it's a great. Very, very, one of the most iconic, in my opinion, uh, music videos. Just throwing it out there. I'm old, okay? I'm old. I know my uh, Run DMC and Aerosmith. Well, I mean, as I said last episode, uh, she's clearly But I make money, right? And she knows that as on, on idol shows, tash shows in today, it's like even the second contestant usually gets contract too because it's kind of they're pretty enough famous and so on so this she's like you know let me give you some good stuff right yeah i can give you a deal look at his face he's like i will give you a deal girls let's make some money yeah
Yeah, like she also, we can make money in you too, right? We can have a drive and so, yeah. Independent, yeah. This is what I said the last review, right? I'm pretty, this was like, to me, it was pretty obvious that regardless if they win or not, they're gonna get probably a contract and some kind of deal because that's how it works in more than two. And I, I have seen two men in talent shows <laughs> in real life, you know? Oh man. My favorite talent show is probably Face Off or like Top Model. I'm a big Top Model fan, okay? I'm, I like Top Model. And, uh, well, I mean, okay, if it goes to like less talent shows, uh, Apprentice. Uh, UK is my favorite. I, I don't mind all the prints either, but like celebrities, special, but UK, I love it. UK is like down to earth, go and sell fish, go and sell hot dogs. It's very, very classic, it's traditional. I love it. Lord and Sugar. It is exactly like my step grandfather, too. It's crazy, yeah. My step grandfather is, is, is English and he looks identical to Alan Sugar, uh, Lord and Sugar. But, um, but whatever, yeah. All the shows like Top Model and so on as well, right? If you get second place, you take it from Cold Anyway. Face Off, you take it from Stuff Anyway. Uh, even Ink Master, which I also watched. <laughs> Me and my father, he was Ink Master. My father is completely tattooed, right? We, he was he loved Ink, he was Ink, Master, Ink Master together. Um, oh, that's a mother. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, she's gonna be president. President, yeah. That's why she's, you know, Republican, maybe? Because all the red with his boss. Valerie. Oh, Onishan. Best Onishan. But I don't know why it's like a negative. Her daughter is a famous pop star. <laughs> it's not a positive. As long as she doesn't do, like, you know, the bad stuff. So she's like, and, and Tuesday's just like adorable girl, too. She would never do, you know, like the, she would never do this stuff, right? And be like, woo, yeah, she would never do that stuff. She's just like a, she's the most innocent girl ever, yeah. I can't see why she doesn't want her daughter to be a famous pop star. And this is to increase her, her fans. But yeah, she's gonna be president or a candidate. Yeah, that makes sense. It, it, it makes sense that she's so controlling because she wants to run for president, right? President of Mars, I guess. I guess, right? So the country is Mars completely. It's like planet president. Yeah. I think there's even more points to that guy being uh, Carol's father because on the same time as he choose his mother going for being president, he's appearing too, right? He's at the end of the last thing, I guess, ever uh, Ronnie Pink and so on, yeah. Very modern voting thing here. He's clearly her. Oh, this blonde guy could be. He's definitely gonna be interesting. He's probably a paparazzi guy, something like investigator. He's probably gonna come after Kent Easter, right? Yeah. He's clearly planning something. Hmm. Okay, so her president is definitely gonna be important for the, for the, for the girls, yeah. Definitely it's gonna come to them in some way or form. Like it's gonna maybe someone will kidnap her, ruin her, you know, trying to ruin them. Hmm. Interesting thread. I like it because her mother is obviously a horrible mother, but now her her you know parenting is makes a little more sense because she's like she's very like I wanna be president, so you better behave so I can be president, yeah. So this is a little more motivated right now, yeah. To go in that Trump route. Yeah. But yeah, typical contract. I have had a lot of content in my days. God damn it, yeah. Hmm. I think Gus is not very good. <laughs> oh no! Is he either a genius or is he horrible at this? Hard to tell with Gus. I don't know. He's either an incredible management, the best guy ever, or he's actually completely clueless. It's hard to know. 
Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. He seems confident in his plan here, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not surprised though if it's like that's gas in the nutshell. Yeah, it's like I will do this thing. It's like really? <laughs> Couldn't you just do what she wants? <laughs> but yeah, but no, I have an ID. <laughs> you go with some kind of like, and immediately someone is whistling. It's like, whoa, it's been fresh blood. <laughs> You go into some freaking. Uh, oh, it looks like. Uh, Fafala, yeah. Don't worry, guys. I know a good producer. Yeah, and the shield is trying to rob them immediately. <laughs> but really, guys? Is that like. Yeah, you should shoot them away. Come on, girls. I love his plan. It's like, come on. I know a good producer. Let's go to the poorest place in the old marsh. This is gonna be great. Oh, and graffiti everywhere. Yeah, this this is the slum, right? This is like the maximum slum of Marsh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone is like, so <laughs> yeah. Why are we here? Yeah, we're gonna be famous by doing it here. We're gonna really grassroot out. <laughs> we're really gonna grassroot by playing out here in slum. It's gonna be. We're gonna make people like us. <laughs> it's like I guess one one CD at a time. Yeah. Well, I mean, this this Karen Tuesday. Yeah, they they have to you know, work it up from the. For the bottom up, right? These are good enough people like them, yeah. The shit don't like them. <laughs> if we're gonna make free concerts in the slum, that's how we're gonna become famous. We're gonna go to every slum and do this thing, I guess. Yeah. The love army. You can terraform Mars something so they can have birds there. Yeah, I don't know how that works even. How to believe in Mars? Like, it has to be terraformed, right? And they say birds up there. <laughs> and here comes the producer with an axe, I guess. <laughs> yeah, here comes the producer. You just play a song and the producer will appear with an axe. <laughs> he definitely is the producer. Crazy axe guy. Yeah, this legendary producer guy with an axe. Exactly. He's definitely the producer. Of course he is. The crazy axe murderer. Of course he's the producer. Oh, new ending. New ending. Oh, God. Do they have to always do it from the bottom up always? Oh, I have a crazy axe murderer. He's a great producer, though. Yes, he murders people every week, but he's a great uh, at music, so, you know, he's unforgivable. Yeah, no, I mean forgivable, sorry. <laughs> unforgivable, I'll say. I mean, it's forgivable. Yeah, so an Angela ending is there, because, of course, last ending was Carol on Tuesday. Well, the opening is the case, but yeah. Well, I think it's good. She gets her own little ending here. She becomes famous, you know, massive hit on the TV and so on. I like it, I like it, yeah. I liked her song, I think that was her best song so far, in my opinion, right? The first song was the, the newest song there for her. Um, I liked her, uh, their new song was good too, she played now at the, at the poor place, yeah, that was pretty good too. Uh, unless like, yeah, she, and it's a kid, I don't think, but yeah. That's a good, a good... Uh, I like your Instagram, it's <laughs> 2 million followers, zero, no, <laughs> zero followings <laughs> herself, yeah. She's not the kind of anyone, I love that. And also, uh, as Anna show, oh, as your rival? Well, we, we're friends! 
Ah, oh, she's a rival. <laughs> yeah. Actually, maybe if we are rival, because she's really angry at us right now. Yeah, she's probably a rival. Um, I'm guessing it's, it's his... Uh, I wanna guess it's her father. I don't know. If he's very animated to be. Like, it's gonna be her dad. His section from Target Strike, from Evil Boys. He's way more... He's more about being nice to them. Or, yeah, he doesn't really care about them being famous. I think it's her father. Talking about more in the review. And I think it also fits... Um, because, uh, how do I say it? It also fits, right? Because we see her like veteran, you know, father from the war, right? So kind of, you know, old soldier, probably poor and probably injured for that, right? Something like that. And at the same time, we see Carol, uh, sorry, Tuesday, of course. Carol's father is a veteran. And we see Tuesday's mother on the same time being this like president candidate, but the opposite of a, you know, an old, you know, war war guy, yeah, it's like, you know, oh yeah, at least I, I survived the war, yeah, and in your and so on, you know, yeah, in your but poor at least. Um, I think that's the, to me at least, that was a, yeah, a bigger uh, flag to that, that we also had her mother's episode. Uh, and at the same time then, that starts two plot lines, right? It starts two plot lines, so the father plot line and the mother plot line in the new uh, season, the summer season. So, to me at least, I think he's definitely her father, or maybe her uncle or that, but I think that's gonna be it, like that. Uncle or father, you know, she's a refugee from uh, from Earth, right? He's probably an old warrior from Earth, some kind of soldier um, that lost his you know, family, maybe lost where she was someone, yeah. Maybe her mother died and he couldn't find them, and she was sent to Mars and he never found her until now because she got famous, so that's my bet. Talking about more in the review, but that's my bet, I think, I think it's her father, and at the same time, you see Mama being president, and I think that's good because, in a sense, it, it makes her horrible behavior as a mother a little, at least more motivational because she's like, you know, I want to be president, so you're gonna follow my rules. Yeah, it makes more, it makes more sense. Um, I do wish the Alan would have danced though. Alan should have been like, you know, dance, man, dance. Yeah, he should have danced over the table. That was, I, I feel poor. He should, he should dance over the table. He should be like, you know, dance. Then the, those cameras should have la laugh tracks, right? Or laugh and applaud tracks. And be like, yeah, dance. Like, that, that would have been, that, that, that was weird. He needed to dance. Anyway, see you guys in the review coming up soon.